Hey guys, how's it going? Back again with another video. Now, I am Ash. This is Gaming Console Tech, if you don't already know it. But, I've been waiting for an item to come for quite some time. Um, actually, since I got my Switch, which I actually mentioned in my last video. So, we'll take a look at that in a minute. But, here is what I've been waiting for. It is a case for my Nintendo Switch, which I have waited for, for like I said, quite some time. Um, was meant to come a couple of days back, which didn't go to plan, but you know, like, <laughs> that's life. Um, the thing is, without a case, I would not go out with this console. Even though it's designed to go out with, I wouldn't just chuck it in a bag. And the bag in question, if I can just, is this one, is fairly big chunky thing. But it's also, it's basically a camera bag, but it's, I'm going to be using it for my tech. Basically, if I go anywhere else for clothing and stuff like that, so there you go, that's life. Um, now, the thing is, I'll just grab that and then do that because I need light. Um, the case in question is this. Now, it's not an official Switch case by any means. Um, it is designed for the Switch, which is always good. And the fact of the matter is, just open that one more because it is warm in here. It's actually raining outside. It's warm. Um, but. The idea of this video is to show that you can get a decent case for the Switch without spending loads of money. Because um, obviously the Switch cases, they do bags, they do cases, they do slimline cases. This is a bit more bulky, but that's for good reason. But the actual cases cost basically £50, probably down to about 30 No less than that from what I've seen for an official switch case which is a, it's a, it is a bit of a pain in the neck but you know that's what nintendo do is they're gonna make the money out of that but this being said this is actually a hard case it's actually really really robust which is one of the reasons i picked it and the design on it as well if you look at the design it's like meshed it's actually really nice and to the touch it's really really nice but yeah all we'll do we'll uh, cut this off now have a look properly at this thing because I've only just got this literally from the post, so we'll pop that up, put that in the box down there, and we'll pick that up because we don't want that. Right, but yeah, the actual case itself is rock solid, and it's a beauty, honestly. Um, I can't see it being disappointing, but if you open it up, you actually have a big compartment there, which is designed for the whole of that, which is one of the reasons I bought it, because I like this controller. You'll know that if you watched my other video. Um, and also, in the front, you've got a little elastic um, section there, so you can put your cables, and then also a place to put the games, which I do have one here. I'm going to attempt and lick it, see if it tastes as bad as everybody says. But you slot your games in there, like that. And a presto, a presto, a presto. There you go. And then at the back, you've also got a place for the tablet itself. Now I'm going to pop those in there now. Just will do. Face it to the camera so you can see. Now just pop that underneath the elastic, and then do the same with the other piece of elastic. Get it from underneath. And there you go. Ready for you to take out. As for the actual controller, big slot at the bottom, slip underneath, and you should be good to go. Now it is designed to put a cable or two as well on the side, that does slide about a bit, that's not going to do any damage whatsoever, but close it up, and then zip it up, and yeah, and it's easy enough to get out as well, so yeah, that's pretty I was after something a little bit more robust, but without spending the uh, rough amount of cash, which was the issue. And I found something. Um, now, if you want to know how much it costs, it cost me a grand total of $18.99, which, yeah, why not? Um, I wouldn't normally pay that much for something like this, but it is a new console, and I went for the cheapest option there was. For something that'd do me for going out with, which is, you know, why not? Um, the actual case itself, like I said, is extremely robust. It can 
it seems like it can take a battering in all occasions you know what I mean so it's not you're not gonna have issues where it's gonna pierce or it's gonna knock around or anything like that so it should be absolutely fantastic for what I want it for that being said guys just a quick look at that case it's actually made by a company called subsonic um, and it's a hard shell case which is what well exactly what I was after to stick in a bag to take away anywhere I want to go so yeah that's that guys thanks very much for watching and I shall see you guys in another video in the meantime like comment subscribe and tell me your thoughts on the case tell me if you find anything cheaper honestly because I'd be intrigued to know all right guys thanks very much for watching and I shall see you guys again soon in another video have fun and happy gaming